What is it that separates the most successful people and organisations from the rest? Are they really that different? And can the rest of us achieve that same success? Of course we can. When people look back on their lives, I truly believe that people often regret the decisions they never made more than the regretful decisions they did. Too often the reason that we don't achieve what we want out of life is because we don't set the bar high enough. I've always been fascinated by the way things work and I often tinker pulling apart old TVs, installing new car stereo systems for friends on the weekend and I even rebuilt a couple of old cars with my dad. I guess I've always been driven by that need to truly understand not just how the components come together but why they come together the way they do. That need to look under the hood is what drew me to engineering. It's what led me into management and leadership and it's the reason that I'm a speaker and a consultant today. What I really love about speaking is that it gives me the opportunity to share my learnings on what's worked for me. And in sharing my story, it provides me with the opportunity to demonstrate that we can all achieve so much more than we ever thought was possible. My job isn't just about inspiring people to aim higher, it's also about providing them with the tools that they need to truly get there. At the heart of it, it's really about helping people and their organisations go from good to great. It's not about whiteboarding, that's part of it. But innovation is more than brainstorming. It's about experimenting, getting out there, taking risks and taking action. I've always considered myself a fairly average guy. Coming from a large family and being the oldest, my parents taught me the value of a good work ethic which means I've never had an issue working hard for whatever it was that I'd set my eyes on. But I also consider myself to be quite lucky. Lucky enough to have received some great recognition over the years. And if there's anything that I can attribute that success to, it's being willing to put my hand up more often than not and have a go. Becoming comfortable with the uncomfortable. One thing is absolutely certain. Disruption is not gonna stop. The disruption that we know and hear about it's going to continue, it's going to get quicker and quicker. So you need to work out whether you are going to embrace that change as leaders or whether you're going to be swallowed up by it. Move, 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 don't stay. That's what my old boxing coach used to say to me time and time again. When you're in the ring, you have to keep moving. You can't afford to stand still or eventually you will get knocked out. And in the world of business, it's exactly the same. In order for us to keep moving and stay ahead of the pack, we need to maintain our appetite for risk. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is where regrets are made. Because just when you get to the point in life where we have all the knowledge we need, we have developed the networks and we have the experience, you're at your lowest likelihood to actually take a risk. And for that reason, I refer to this area as a pool of untapped potential. More than ever, Culture is the major determinant in an organisation's success. And at its very core, this comes down to leadership. The modern workforce, which is fast becoming the millennial workforce, expect their leaders to be transparent. They expect them to be inclusive. And most of all, they expect them to be real. Surround yourself with supportive people. And in the organisational context, this is about actually you as leaders being the supportive people for your people. And the last one, to learn by doing, what better way than to actually lead by example and to take the initiative, to take the risks and then share your experiences, good or bad, with your people and show them that, hey, I'm doing this. Why don't you come on the journey? When I walk off that stage, I define my success by how well I've inspired my audience to achieve theirs. More than simply pushing you outside your comfort zone, it's about expanding your comfort zone because when you do this, Fear takes a back seat. You unleash all of that untapped potential and then, whew, watch out.